to restore the loss of the presence of God. God prophesied in 700 BC that he would come to the earth as a man in the name of Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. God fulfilled this by coming to the earth as son of God, Jesus. Today, God resides in man as the Holy Spirit, the Emmanuel. And he comes into the body of people who accept Jesus as a son of God. God with us, the Holy Spirit. He resides. In the Old Testament, God resided in heaven and the earth is his footstool. Heaven is my abode and earth is my footstool. That was the word in the Old Testament. Now, God resides in man. Emmanuel. Understand it. Understand it. In the Old Testament, people have to fear God. God changed it. In the New Testament, after Jesus paid the price of sins of man on the cross, so lovingly he died for us. He made us his sons and daughters. He doesn't like us to fear him. He wants us to love him. Out of love for him, we have to obey. That is what he expects. He loves us like his own life. He gave his life for us. No need to prove anything beyond that. Isaiah 7, 14. Emmanuel. Please understand, my dear Muslim brother, sister, please understand Emmanuel, Jesus. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. 700 BC. And it got fulfilled here. But while he thought, he means Joseph, the father of Jesus. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, not Maryam. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. Conceived is of the Holy Spirit, not, not a dirty thing called Jibril, a messenger, a man. A dirty man sent to buy Muhammad. It's written in Surah 19, Maryam, that a dirty man, Jibril, went into the bathroom of Mary, and that name is Maryam, and she has closed her, closed the wheel where the, the, the cloth. There he entered the bathroom and gave her the child Isa. So something, something bad is written. In the Quran, 600 years after everything has, has been written and everything has happened. Now we see, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is, in her is of the Holy Spirit, not by man. And she will bring forth the son and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. The name Jesus means Savior. He will save his people from their sins. Please understand, Jesus was promised as a son of God and a seed of woman. But Muhammad, 600 years later, had written in the, in the Surah 19, Maryam, that a man named Jibril went into the bathroom of Maryam, alias Mary, and gave the child. A rotten thing is described. Trying to, trying to erase Genesis 3.15 prophecy that God would come as seed of woman. But he had already come. 600 years ago, it had already happened. And he had told a lie 600 years later. Matthew 1, 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Jesus means savior. He will save his people from their sins. So, all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Emmanuel means God with us. It was fulfilled. Whatever was prophesied through I, prophet Isaiah in 700 BC was fulfilled when Jesus was conceived through Virgin Mary. Jesus has clearly revealed that he is the Holy Spirit who resides in men, 
and he is the kingdom of God. The other name of the Holy Spirit is Jesus. Yes, Jesus, Holy Spirit and Emmanuel are one and the same. Jesus resides in men who accept him as savior, as the Holy Spirit. Muhammad has concealed this vital mystery from Muslims. There is no Holy Spirit in Islam. When there is no Holy Spirit, the evil spirit fills him. So Islam is driven by evil spirit. The other name of the kingdom of heaven is Holy Spirit. There is no need to run around searching the kingdom of heaven as he is within us. Luke 17, 20, 21. He has made it very clear the kingdom of heaven is within you. Luke 17, 20. The Pharisees asked him. Now when he was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God does not come with observation, nor will they say, See there, see here, see there, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. Jesus said, Indeed the kingdom of God is within you. Emmanuel. The kingdom of heaven is none else but the Holy Spirit indwelling in us as per John 14, 16 and 17. Jesus has, de has described, he stopped at telling that the kingdom of God is within you. He didn't elaborate to the Pharisees, but then he elaborated it to the disciples. John 14, 16 and 17. And I will pray the Father and I will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. That he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. He said this to the disciples. He revealed his secrets, mysteries to his disciples that he would come and reside in his children, disciples and children, his believers as Holy Spirit. Paul the Apostle confirmed this in 1 Corinthians 3, 17, 6, 19, 2 Corinthians 6, 16. Our body is the temple of God. The Holy Spirit who resides in us is none else but Jesus Christ himself, says Paul the Apostle in Colossians 1, 27. We will read even Colossians 1, 27 to understand the truth. 1 Corinthians 3, 17. It was all there when Muhammad was born. 400, 500 years it was there. If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him. What is the temple? Our body is the temple. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple you are? Our body is the temple of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit is God and he resides in our body, who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not of your own. 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 6.16 And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them, one walk among them, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Very clearly, the word of God is instructing us not to look at Kaaba, not to look at any place or building as holy or a residence of God. Kaaba is a deception because God resides in us as Emmanuel. A well settled thing. Holy Spirit resides in us and he does amazing signs and wonders. It's proved beyond everybody's doubt. It is written in the Quran itself. Jesus was very popular even in his days. It's there. Quranic verses, Quran verse is there. Colossians 1.27 To them God will to make known what are the riches of glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. The Christ, Holy Spirit is Christ in us, the hope of glory. Jesus and Holy Spirit are one and the same. He resides in us as Emmanuel. That's the best part of success of Jesus. He ascended to heaven, died, rose on the third, third day, rose up to heaven, ascended to heaven and sent his Holy Spirit ten days later and he is with us from then onwards. 